This video will focus on eating well with type 1 diabetes. Please feel free to pause and rewatch it as necessary. The three major nutrients in food are protein, fats, and carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, often referred to as carbs, break down into glucose or sugar in our bloodstream. Protein and fats do not break down into glucose. When carbs turn to sugar, your body uses it for energy. When living with diabetes, it's important to understand how carbohydrates affect your blood sugar. Insulin is a hormone made by the pancreas, which allows your body to let the sugar in your blood to enter cells so that it can be used for energy and growth. Insulin helps to keep your blood sugar level from getting too high, known as hyperglycemia, or too low, hypoglycemia. Please check out our videos which cover both of those. Carbohydrates are classified as either simple or complex. Let's take a look at various carbohydrate sources. Simple carbs are found in candy, sugary drinks, syrups, and desserts such as cakes, cookies, and pies. They're made with processed sugars and don't contain vitamins, minerals, or fiber. Simple carbohydrates are absorbed quickly, causing bursts of energy and can lead to spikes in blood sugar levels. Complex carbs, on the other hand, contain nutrients. They're higher in fiber and digest more slowly so that they provide more sustained energy. Complex carbohydrates can be found in grains and starches such as bread, cereal, crackers, oatmeal, pasta, quinoa, rice, and tortillas. Fruit is a form of complex carbs as they contain natural fruit sugar or fructose, but also dietary fiber. Dairy products are another source of complex carbohydrates. The only exception being cheese, which is actually very low in carbs. Starchy vegetables are rich in carbohydrates. These include beans, carrots, corn, peas, potatoes, and winter squash. Some food is very low in carbohydrate. We call these free foods. Protein does not contribute to blood sugar and helps to slow down the digestion of an entire meal, even if it includes carbohydrates. Examples of protein foods are beef, cheese, eggs, chicken, seafood, and turkey. Remember, breaded protein items such as chicken nuggets or fried seafood do contain carbohydrates. Fats are important nutrients for children and young adults. Fats also do not contribute to blood sugar. Plant-based fats include cooking oils, mayonnaise, salad dressings, and tubs of margarine. Although these foods do not contain carbohydrates, fat-free or low-fat versions of these products often do contain carbs. Solid fats, which come from animals, are also carb-free, such as milk, cream cheese, and butter, as well as beef, chicken, and pork fat. There are both heart-healthy fats, such as olive oil, and unhealthy saturated fats, which are found in fast foods. Learning how to count carbohydrates at meals is very important for people living with diabetes. Taking the correct amount of insulin based on how many carbs you eat at any given meal is the key to keeping your blood sugar in a healthy range. Your care team will let you know your individual insulin to carbohydrate ratio as well as your target blood sugar goal. Carbohydrates are measured in grams. You could use scales, measuring spoons, websites, and apps to assist with carb counting. It's extremely important, however, to learn how to read nutrition labels on food packaging. You'll look at three things, serving size, number of servings per container, and grams of total carbohydrate per serving. If you eat more than one serving, you must multiply the grams of carbs accordingly. Let's practice. What are the total carbohydrates in a turkey and cheese sandwich and a half pint of chocolate milk? Turkey, cheese, and mayonnaise each contain zero carbohydrates. Lettuce and tomato are almost free, so you don't have to count those. For the bread and the milk, let's take a look at the nutrition labels. The serving size of the wheat bread is one slice, which contains 15 carbs. So since we're having two slices for the sandwich, that's 30 carbs. The half pint of chocolate milk contains 24 grams of carbohydrates. So 30 plus 24 makes it 54 total carbs for the meal. There are some pretty good sugar-free products on the market, such as jellies and jam, pudding and jello, gum, syrups, and beverages. Some sugar-free items are not carbohydrate-free, so make sure to read those labels carefully. Sugar-free items are not always a bargain to save grams of carbohydrates. For example, sugar-free Reese's peanut butter cups have more carbohydrates for the same serving than regular Reese's do. Although it says zero grams of sugar or added sugar, there are still 12 grams of sugar alcohols for every three pieces. Anything with less than 5 grams of carbohydrates is considered a heart-healthy free food. Examples include an 8-ounce glass of almond or soy milk, 
a portion of reduced fat cottage cheese, an egg white omelet with veggies, cheese, and low sodium ham, hard boiled eggs, half cup raspberries or strawberries with a quarter cup of Cool Whip or Ready Whip, a half cup of macadamia nuts or pecans, or a quarter cup of peanuts, walnuts, almonds, or sunflower seeds. Here are some more examples of heart healthy free foods. Many children are given an option for 15 gram carbohydrate snacks that don't require insulin with them. This list provides some examples.